Impetigo is a bacterial skin infection that begins with a break in the body's natural protective barrier, the skin. Generally, the infection begins with a bite or dermatitis that is scratched by the child, thus introducing the bacterial agent. Both Staphylococcus and Streptococcus varieties are normally present on the skin and are generally the causative agents. With Impetigo, Staphylococcus is the most common causative bacterium. Impetigo is highly contagious and is spread through direct contact. It can be transmitted as long as there are wounds that are not healed. The incubation period is generally 7 to 10 days. So, what are the risk factors for impetigo? Poor hygiene practices, infancy because resistance to skin bacteria is low, the presence of insect bites or scabies, body piercing, gatherings with many people, a hot, humid environment, toddler and preschool age groups due to poor hand washing and close contact, and immunocompromised children, those who have AIDS or cancer, are on immunosuppressive drugs or have other debilitating condition. Signs and symptoms of impetigo begin with the presence of a break in the skin that develops an inflammation and proceeds to form a vesicle. These small vesicles become pustules and rupture. The exudate from the ruptured pustules dry and form the familiar honey-colored lesions. These lesions itch Scratching and spreading the infection to include more areas of the child's body or spreading it to others is common and should be the target of your nursing management. Unless a secondary infection develops, the sharply margined, irregular lesions heal without scarring. Diagnostic procedures for the child with suspected impetigo include a good history and physical assessment and a culture of the lesions to confirm the causative bacterial agent. Generally, the history and the appearance of the lesions are fairly conclusive. Your nursing management of the child with impetigo includes diligent hand washing and use of universal precautions, softening the crusts of the lesions with burrow solution in a compress, followed by cleansing and removal of the crusts, application of topical antibiotics, and administration of systemic antibiotics. Also be sure to instruct parents and caregivers to keep the child's nails short and clean. Medications used to treat impetigo include topical antibiotics and systemic antibiotics for severe infection. Complications of impetigo include the spread of the infection and the development of secondary infections that can lead to scarring.